vaccines made with plants is tonight's What's Next. Our look at great ideas and innovators in the area. Every year, you're urged to get a flu shot. Well, this season has been one of the worst in decades, killing 35 North Carolinians. And there have been reports of vaccine shortages. But Medicago promises to change the way we handle pandemics. The RTP company is What's Next. Green, lush, and flourishing, the Nicotiana Bethamiana, a long name for a relative of the tobacco plant. How big is this greenhouse? Uh, this particular greenhouse is uh, 27,000 square feet, which is approximately the size of a half a football field. These green plants could revolutionize how we vaccinate against the deadly flu virus. Mike Warner says here at Medicago and RTP, using these large leaf plants, they can make the flu vaccine faster. Uh, the current egg-based technology takes about uh, four to six months. Comparably, we could do that in about two to three months. The other benefit, plant-based vaccines cut production costs, making the vaccine cheaper to make. The sun is giving us energy we need. Uh, we recycle the uh, fertilizer and the liquids. This is how it works. From seedling to full plant takes five weeks. Then the state of the art process begins, and that takes us inside the infiltration room. Why is all of this necessary? This, this is necessary because we have a very high concentration of bacteria in the process, so it protects you from the bacteria, but even more importantly, it protects anything that we might be carrying with us from getting into the process. We, we're making something that's going to be injected into humans, so we have to be very careful about handling that material. Medicago's Todd Tellerico says this is where the magic happens. Racks of plants turned upside down and lowered into a vacuum infiltration unit. So the vacuum draws the air out of the surface of the plant leaf. And then, like a sponge, the leaves fully absorb the agrobacterium solution. And why would you want to put bacteria into the plant? Uh, the, these are special bacteria, so they're known in nature to be able to take a piece of their DNA and transfer it into the plant cell. These plants are now essentially a host to carry what will be a flu-fighting DNA. They're actually taken upstairs now into another area, um, and then they're watered in there and they're exposed to a certain amount of light. The leaves hold the key virus-like particles. It goes through a dicer, so it chops them into small segments. It moves into a large digestion kettle. Enzymes break down what were tobacco leaves into a liquid form that can be purified into a flu vaccine. If all goes as planned, Medicago says it could pump out 10 million doses of the flu vaccine per month. Clinical trials start this year. The seasonal flu product we hope to be on the market in 2015. The Medicago's plant-based vaccine stretch beyond the flu. It's being also tested to immunize against rabies and rotavirus, promising these plants are the future of life-saving vaccines. So Medicago, even though they're headquartered in Canada, they built that $37 million plant two years ago in RTP in order to produce these vaccines. Melanie conducting her first ever sterile interview with a surgical mask. That was, <laughs> I had to uh, go was... back to science class to, to do that story. It was really interesting, though. I'll tell you what, no, we've had this debate before about flu shots because they're important, but you know some of the things in them, it's synthetic, it's not as natural. Something about instead of eggs having a plant, that seems better. Right, they're me. saying it's healthier, it's natural, it, you know, the, the plants are grown in a greenhouse that it's cheaper than all around and it's faster to make which is really essential. And I know how the FDA is. I'm always impatient though when they say 2015 I'm like I want it now. But, I know. Uh, Everything has to be yeah. you have to do the human trials and of course that takes a long time.